So maybe after the iOS or system update while using AirDrop from your iPad Mini 6 generation, you're facing that you're unable to send or transfer data or files or it's stuck on waiting or maybe it's showing AirDrop or transfer failed or your device can't find the other device. Well, if those are the issues you're facing right now, don't worry, we're going to show you what you can do in that situation and how to solve it. Just a little heads up before we begin, if you're trying to transfer more than 100 files at once, this might happen. And we recommend you to either use a cable transfer or try to send the files in slots or in chunks. Now after that, what you can do is go to your control panel and make sure Wi-Fi, Bluetooth and AirDrop all are on. Go to AirDrop settings and select everyone for 10 minutes. Now either of the devices are on hotspot right now make sure hotspot is disabled on both of them. Also, don't forget to keep both devices near to each other and make sure the screen on both are unlocked. Now, sometimes we forget to select accept or allow the process from the transfer request pop-up. So make sure that's not the issue in your case. And sometimes it might happen that you are hearing the notification chime but can't see the notification. What you have to do is just Swipe down the kernel center and you will get the notification right in here. You can accept it from here as well. If it's still not working, after what you can do is just go ahead and force restart your iPad. For that, press and release the volume up and then down button and then just press and hold the power button until you see Apple logo on your iPad screen. Now after restart, the airdrop problem should be solved for good. But if it still persists, what you have to do next is just go ahead and check the charge on your iPad. Make sure it at least or more than 30% battery in it. Also while you're here, just go ahead and check if it's running on low power mode. Just turn it off. From settings to battery, just disable low power mode. Because in both the cases, airdrop problems might happen. That should solve your problem. If it still persists, don't worry. Go ahead and reset network settings on your iPad. Straight from settings to general, scroll down to transfer or reset iPad. From there to reset, from this list select reset network settings. And then press reset to confirm. Reset network settings will just reset or remove your Wi-Fi password and reset your Bluetooth settings. Now after reset network settings, we're definite that your airdrop problem is solved for good. Now, just please remember before I finish, if the file size is large, it might take some time to send it or receive it from other device. So, all you will have to do is just wait patiently for a while to complete that process. Please let us know how that went. Thank you for watching.